The city side of Bracken was built for men. Well, if the buildings put in the cities make it impossible for men to live there, then you ask, well, what's the city all about? Richard Stein, architect and energy expert, attacks the mega building from a different quarter. The nature of these very high, say, the new behemoths of our downtown building, as they're built today, are inherently very energy intensive. And a building like World Trade Center was quoted as requiring something like five watts per square foot more than even the characteristic high-rise building. And these are just the demands within the building, you know, not considering at all where the energy comes from. The fact that the buildings are sealed from the outside means that the complete interior environment has to be provided by mechanical means. That is, the lighting, the cooling, the heating, the air changes, all of these things require vast mechanical plants. The energy and the utilities that serve these buildings are often located tens or even hundreds of miles away. The World Trade Center, for example, which has a power consumption that's the equivalent of the city the size of Schenectady, actually gets its power, or Con Edison is now bringing power in, shall I say, from as far away as Quebec, and as far south as Delaware to serve the New York metropolitan area. And this means that the cost of transmission lines, pollution costs, are all going to be somehow dissociated from the cost of the buildings that made them necessary. To really assess the cost of the building, you see, you have to add these two things together, the direct cost plus these indirect costs. I think that the very high cost of these buildings is being paid for at the expense of a lot of other important unfilled needs I think that it's being done at the cost of housing, schools, recreational facilities, and so forth. 